moments away from the most anticipated race of the year, the All-American Classic. Today's race features one of the fastest foods around, greasy cheeseburger squaring off against a 50 to one long shot, veggie delight. They're at the gate and they're off. Greasy cheeseburger takes a big lead with veggie delight trailing. These two burgers could not be more different. Greasy cheeseburger is loaded with 500 calories and 30 grams of fat. Veggie delight made entirely of soy comes in at a lean 100 calories and one gram of fat. And down the stretch they come. The crowd is on their feet. Oh my, Greasy Cheeseburger has fallen over, apparently too fat to finish the race. And it's Veggie Delight by six lengths. This just goes to show you that the world of fast food is changing fast. Now you can enjoy it guilt-free with my amazing swaps. Like Lord of the Onion Rings, Crazy Good Island Insanity Burger, and delicious baked apple pilots. I'm also heading to a fast food restaurant for a Hungry Girl Survival Guide. I'm Lisa Lillian, better known as Hungry Girl, keeping it guilt-free and delicious. So hungry. Today's episode is all about American classics. Now, I love American classics and fast food. We all do. But you know what I don't like? All the fat and calories and grease that go along with it. So what we're doing is we're going to reinvent the classics and make them completely guilt-free, starting with my Lord of the Onion Rings. Now, I love onion rings, but typically onion rings are like loaded with fat and calories. An order has 600 calories, can have 30 or 40 grams of fat. It's Crazy high, not needed, and completely unnecessary. My onion rings, okay, you ready for this? They have 155 calories and about one gram of fat for a tremendous serving. You can eat like a bazillion, literally, onion rings. First thing we're gonna do is get this onion into some rings. Slice that up. Okay. Thing about my onion rings, they're baked. They are not fried. Part of the problem with onion rings, deep frying them. Why do you need to take an onion, which is like completely healthy and delicious, and then deep fry it? It just, it seems unnecessary. It should be illegal, I think, kind of. These rings are so perfect. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I'm gonna pop these out. I'm gonna get my secret ingredient. This, believe it or not, is high fiber breakfast cereal high fiber breakfast cereal. They're fiber twigs. You want to look for a cereal that, you know, tastes good, but also has about 60 calories for a half cup. I have a favorite kind. You might be able to figure out what it is. I don't know. Now, the first time I discovered this, I really wanted onion rings. I was craving them. I didn't want to eat 600 calories. So I thought, well, what if I take a high fiber breakfast cereal and put it in the blender and turn it into like some kind of a coating? I remember my friend's moms used to make chicken out of like cornflakes. I took it and ran with it, and the results were incredible. So the recipe calls for about a half cup. Sometimes I put in a little more, just because it makes them easier to coat, even though you don't end up eating it all. And then you're just gonna grind it up till it's like a fine powder. You don't wanna see any lumps at all. The powder is ready for fun. Okay, next up, need to spice this because it tastes like breakfast cereal, so we gotta make it taste like, you know, delicious onion ring coating. Lots of pepper, fair amount of salt, onion powder and garlic powder. Sometimes I throw in cayenne if I want them spicy. Whatever you like, whatever spices you like, just spice this up. To get this stuff to stick to the onions, we need some egg substitute. I like to use egg substitute because it doesn't have yolks, it doesn't have fat, you don't add cholesterol, and you don't need it, it does the same thing and it will help keep the crumbs on the onions. Now the fun begins. We're gonna coat the onions. I like to use tongs. I'm gonna to use my fingers too, but the tongs help kind of keep it neat, at least for a little while. I'm pretending I'm gonna be neat, just for a few minutes, and we'll see what wackiness ensues. <laughs> coat it. Now you can use a spoon, you can use tongs, you can use your hands, you can use your kids, whatever you can <laughs> get your hands on to help you coat these. This pan has been sprayed with nonstick spray. I'm gonna get these guys in the oven. 
The oven's at 375, it's been preheated. They stay in for about 20 to 25 minutes and I'll flip them halfway. Okay, my Lord of the Onion Rings are ready. They smell great. Wow, can't believe it. This whole tray has about 150 calories, it's crazy. I'm gonna dig right in. Now, I sometimes like them with mustard or ketchup. Today, I'm gonna use one of my favorite condiments. It's my secret find today. It's called Vivi's Original Sauce Classic Carnival Mustard. It's a little hard to find, you get it online, but it's so worth it. It's a little bit like a relish, a salsa, and a ketchup and a mustard all rolled into one. And it's so good, it has a little heat, it's a little spicy, and it works so well with these onion rings. I'm not even gonna put these on a plate, I am just gonna dive right in. Mmm, it is so crispy and crunchy. It tastes a lot like a diner onion ring, without grease, without fat, it's amazing. Mm. I will never eat fast food onion rings again. Up next, I cruise to a fast food restaurant to give you something better than anything you can find in a Happy Meal, a Hungry Girl Survival Guide. Then, it's my Island Insanity Burger and it's crazy good. This program is... This is Lisa, can I take your order, please? Uh, yeah, I'll take a... Uh, Bacon double cheeseburger, large fries, and a medium orange soda. Okay, that will be 1,300 calories. Please pull up to the window. Fast food is part of life in America. We all love to eat it. But does it always have to be greasy and packed with calories? No way. I am here with a Hungry Girl Survival Guide so you can enjoy it guilt-free. So let's talk about sandwiches. I always order chicken over a burger. And you have to be careful, don't get the fried chicken, get the grilled chicken. Instead of a bun, I always say, please give me a lettuce wrap, and they will usually do that. And when you do that, it comes out like this. It looks just like a sandwich, only instead of a bun, it's wrapped in lettuce, and it's way lower in calories. But if they tell you they can't do that, just make it yourself. I get a chicken sandwich, and then I remove the bun, and I make my own lettuce wrap. So. All the good stuff's in the middle. You have your chicken, your lettuce, tomato, and pickles, and you just wrap it in some lettuce, and there it is. You will never miss the bun, I promise you. Now, a food faker that you may not know about at fast food restaurants is the fish sandwich. This thing, although it's fish, and people think it's healthy, is loaded with fat and calories. This is a fried fish patty. It's got tartar sauce and cheese, and it has more calories than most of the burgers on the menu. So, you know what we're gonna do with this one? We're gonna pretend it does not exist. And I am gonna take a bite out of this. This looks great. Hmm, I don't even miss the bun. A lot has changed in the world of fast food these days. Places are offering so many different salad options, but just because something is a salad doesn't mean it's a good choice. For example, sometimes they'll put stuff all over your salad that just makes it crazy high in fat and calories, like bacon, croutons, cheese, and believe it or not, sometimes the salad dressing has more calories and more fat than the salad itself. That is just insane. So what I like to do, I don't take chances. I bring my own dressing. Shh, I smuggle it in. I love the spray dressings. About a calorie per spray. One thing that hasn't changed in the world of fast food is the shake. They have around a thousand calories. This thing is a ticking time bomb. And that was my Hungry Girl Fast Food Survival Guide. See you at the drive-thru. Next, I am gonna be making my Island Insanity Burger. Now, I was inspired to make this thing because I had lunch with a friend at a chain restaurant. She was eating this crazy burger that looked so good. Of course, I looked it up online and saw it had close to 1,000 calories. Now, my version has about 270 calories, and it's huge and very impressive. First ingredient here, in this island insanity is the island part. It's a pineapple, nice and caramelized. Look at that, beautiful grill marks. Very impressive, you don't even need to go outside for that, right in your kitchen. I'm gonna get the burger part now. This is a soy patty. I love these, they have about 80 calories. They taste a lot like a regular, you know, ground beef patty, and hardly any fat at all. This is already pre-cooked, it's been defrosted. I'm gonna set that on there, let these guys cook together for a few minutes. Slice my tomato now. I love lettuce and tomato on a burger. It makes it that much bigger, juicier. Okay, so I'm finished with the vegetables and I think my burger's almost ready. I need to flip this thing. Ooh, look at those grill marks. Perfect. Now the fun part, I'm gonna melt 
this cheese right on the burger. And I like to fold in the corners. This is a little trick I learned. Not only does it look kind of cute, but it will prevent your cheese from dripping onto your grill pan. This is just a fat-free cheese slice. Let's start building this baby. 